Eastern PA Weather Authority Meteorologist Bobby Martin here with your outlook for January 29th, 2016. And we can start by waving goodbye to this system here. This powerful system offshore was the one we were talking about earlier in the week that had the possibility of affecting parts of our area with some snowfall. That is now uh, going to be remaining well offshore and had, heading out in this direction here. And that's because we have a positive NAO and no blocking. Otherwise, we would be having the system come up the coast here and give us a, a, a snowstorm. That is not the case. Uh, and instead, we are going to see some snow or snow showers in parts of the area today. Uh, that is going to be in association with this system here diving southeast from Canada into uh, over New England is, going to, is where it's going to go. But uh, the snow showers will be extending over uh, basically the eastern parts of our coverage area today. Let's go over the name high res feature simulator radar and show you. We're looking here at uh, 8 o'clock in the morning. Again, not much going on uh, except for some snow showers out in the western half of Pennsylvania here, uh, generally west of State College. But then as you go a little bit further here, it looks like we have some energy that wants to can, uh, dive down here from New York State. It's going to first cross over the Wilkes-Barre Scranton area the, and uh, the Wyoming Valley. Uh, but we're going to go from this point forward and, go down and uh, show you that it then crosses into the Lehigh Valley into northern New Jersey and down into southeastern eastern portions of southeastern PA and southern New Jersey. Again, this will be falling in the form of snow here. Now, this is showing green here. The radar is not picking up correctly in the algorithm, but uh, there will be some snow showers. It could give us some, some localized coatings out of this, uh, fresh coating of snow across uh, some areas as this dives down, down southeast, generally between... Uh, you know, late morning and uh, we'll say we'll say mid morning and uh, mid afternoon from northwest to southeast. But it's probably going to be lesser of a duration than that that's indicated here. But we'll we'll keep an eye on it. Again, most places are just uh, no accumulation, all very little or no no accumulation. I would be surprised to see some uh, fresh coatings of the ground though as that system moves through, and it's going to continually um, move in, move eastward pretty quickly, and that will merge with that system offshore and pull away but then saturday we're going to be ta talking about partly cloudy skies again near seasonable uh, temperatures for this time of year and then we get into uh sunday the winds are going to switch around to the southwest and that's because this high pressure here is going to be anchored in a position offshore that is ideal for clockwise winds to bring in this warmth from the uh, south and southwest with that uh, with that flow around that high pressure so uh, we're going to be warming up for a couple days is the bottom line so we're looking at uh, from Sunday through Wednesday is going to be a period of above normal and in some cases well above normal temperatures by the time we get to Wednesday uh, some areas are like down by Philadelphia might even hit 60 degrees by the time we get to Wednesday so any snow that is currently uh, in or uh, still on the ground here we know we've been having some snow melt uh, in some cases rapid snow melt uh, we're going to have that snow melt continue and a steady decline of this of the uh, the snow cover that we have in this area right now, and uh, you know some places will lose it faster than others, but uh, I think even places uh, from Harrisburg over to Allentown that have still have a pretty deep snow cover are going to put a, a very huge dent in it. It might lose it altogether by the time we get to Wednesday with those warm temperatures surging in. Now here is uh, the high pressure establishing itself off the east coast that's known as the heat pump high in summer which will get us those uh, bermuda highs that will give us those uh, hazy hot and humid days of course this is not summer but we will have uh, temperatures that are going to be above normal uh, then we have uh, system, another system moving through here on monday it's going to be moving off to our north the precipitation associated with it will dive down to, to the southwest i think this affects mostly our northern areas, but uh, our northwestern portions of our coverage area. But again, an isolated shower cannot be ruled out anywhere across our coverage area here on Monday. That would be basically uh, most probable time frame for that to come through would be Monday afternoon and early evening uh, for that isolated shower here on Monday. As we go a little bit further, here's Tuesday, partly cloudy skies and a break in between systems. And then we have a big system moving up through the Great Lakes cutting and this is going to be the associated cold front with it. It's going to touch off some severe weather possibly uh, down south but as this moves through here we're just going to have about a two to three hour duration band of rain that's going to move through and some localized heavy rainfall along that band here as the models continue to show some heavier rates uh, with this uh, cold front moving through, so we'll keep an eye on that. I think most of the most of the snow by that point is gone, except for the areas that were had, had an extreme amount of snow uh, over two feet. Those areas that are over two feet still have uh, we'll still have some snow around, especially snow piles 
for where it was piled up during the storm here. But uh, we were all like, since we're going to be in the 40s and 50s leading up to this day, uh, before we have the rain, I don't think you're going to have to deal with some flooding because most of the snow should be melted or gone by that point. Once this cold front moves through, however, we're going to have some of the coldest air of the season move in behind it. And we're still thinking there's going to be a pretty impressive shot of cold here coming in. Uh, once we get to Thursday and beyond, especially past Thursday, and we have temperatures that definitely, at the very least, our models are agreeing on at least slightly below normal uh, after that. Uh, some models are more aggressive than others as far as how uh, what the extent of the cold is. So, you know, it could be well below normal, but uh, the ones that are saying, no, it might not be that uh, not cold, are still agreeing that it will be uh, below normal regardless. So, uh, we'll be cold here once we get Thursday and beyond of next week behind that cold front. And that's going to be the at, at the seven-day point of our forecast period. I'm Eastern PA Weather Authority Meteorologist Bobby Martrich. That is your outlook for January 29th, 2016. Have a great Friday.